Welcome to the amazing city of Newcastle. Now that you know where you'll be studying, I'm here to show you the amazing city that you'll be living in. I have the best three years of my life studying in Newcastle and I'm going to show you why. But first, here's a few things you need to know. The first thing you need to know about Newcastle is that it's the cosmopolitan capital of North East England. It was also voted a top 100 student city in 2019, with it being 8th in the UK and 64th in the entire world. One in six people in Newcastle are students, helping contribute towards its vibrant social scene and its renowned nightlife. Newcastle also boasts world-class sport, shopping, music and art. The quayside down by the river is the reason why many students consider this city their second home. Welcome to the quayside, the heart of Newcastle and the city's biggest cultural transformation. The quayside is home to a variety of different bridges, so let's start with the most iconic one, the Chine Bridge. King George IV altered the construction of this bridge in 1929. This is because when George I fought the Scots back a few hundred years ago, he remembered that Newcastle was the most furthest northern town that defended against the Scottish barbarians to the north. So in his honour, he constructed the bridge we also have the Millennium Bridge, also known as the Blinking Eye, which literally folds like a blinking eye to let larger ships pass under it. This is the High Level Bridge, and it's the first multi-use bridge in the world. Yeah, we've got a lot of famous bridges here. And this is Newcastle Castle the monument that gave this city its name. When William the Conqueror came over in 1066, he built a castle on top of the old Roman fort that used to be here almost 2,000 years ago, making it literally a new castle. New castle, the city. We're so creative. Now, if you're ever lost in the city, all you have to do is look out for this guy! This statue is Grey's Monument and the guy at the top there is Lord Earl Grey. The statue was built in 1838. Earl Grey was most famous for getting the Reform Act through Parliament but also the abolition of slavery and employment of children in the UK. But he's actually most well known for creating the Earl Grey tea. Now you can actually get to the top of Monument on certain days to have an amazing view of Grey Street with its Roman architecture, but I'm afraid there's no shortcuts. You'll have to climb up 164 steps. The other thing to know about Grey's Monument is if you actually manage to climb up, take a look at the guy's head because it's a bit off and that's because it was struck by lightning, the original one, and actually flew into the shop just, uh, just at the top here of the street and they actually had to replace his head very quickly so they've made it too big for his body. Uh, I'm not sure who I feel more sorry for to be honest. Welcome to Northumberland Street, the main shopping street here in Newcastle. It's home to Eldon Square, the big massive shopping centre, as among other popular brands like McDonald's and Primark. At the top of the street is Haymarket Metro Station where you can access other parts of the city and just across the road is your Newcastle University City Campus where you can chill and relax at the Students' Union and join some societies or take in all of the breathtaking architecture. Okay, we've got all of your Instagram photos for you. We've talked about bridges and monuments to death. It would be a sin to give you a tour of Newcastle without talking about its amazing nightlife. There are far too many bars and nightclubs to mention in Newcastle, but there's literally something for everyone here in this fantastic city. Personally, I go to any club where I have space to dance, but that's just me. And that's the final thing to talk about, is the people of Newcastle. One of the many reasons why people keep coming back here. They're some of the friendliest people in the UK, in my opinion. So welcome to Newcastle.
I look forward to dancing with you soon.